Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Run 8 Train Simulator video. Today we're going to take a look at the DCS site and a few of their latest wares. DCS, of course, Diverging Clear Studios and not Digital Combat Simulator, but they are both great in their own right. Uh, this is a collection of some of the more talented uh, enhancement conjurers and modders within the uh, the Run 8 community, and not just Run 8, uh, other stuff, Train Sim Classic, uh, you name it, other stuff as well. Uh, the site, uh, I believe something happened with the domain, so on and so forth, and it was brought back uh, and refreshed, uh, if you can already see, if you've seen the old one, uh, obviously, with some new stuff as well, so we're going to take a poke around this, so this has got a lot of talented people that make stuff. Uh, and it's kind of like your one-stop shop for Run 8 enhancements, and has been. I've used it pretty much as long as I've been using uh, Run 8 Train Simulator, personally. Uh, not to say that there's not a lot of great individual sites out there uh, and discords and all that, but this is just kind of an easy one-stop shop. You know, it's like going in a 7-Eleven and getting, you know, a bag of Doritos or a Sprite or whatever the hell you need. Bam, bam, it's all there. It's all here, ready to go. Uh, they've got the newer stuff here. Uh, if you want to go to the top, you can check out the locomotives. A lot of them were brought back um, as well. There's a ton of great repaints on here. We're not going to go over each and every one because that would take a very, very long time. I've got just a short, quaint little selection that we're going to take a look at here. Uh, but this is all the options you've currently got. Uh, they've got some rolling stock in here as well, some of which are from some of the newer stuff like this UP 60-foot box car. That's, I don't know which one that uses. That's either the Norfolk Southern one uh, or CSX or TTX. I don't remember, uh, but it's from that new rolling stock pack, that new hot, hot, hot rolling stock pack that's got like bump mapping and all that. And we've got these very lovely hoppers. Uh, the coil cars, which we're going to take a look at both of those, and the sulfur tank car, which is also part of that uh, newer pack. So, of course, as usual, you are going to need, you know, the specific DLC from Run 8 to be able to use uh, these these enhancements, if you will. So you can't just click it and use it. You are going to need uh, the packs that they require. Uh, but this is all there is for rolling stock, but uh, keep your eyes peeled. I'm sure there will be a ton of more stuff in here, but there's also audio. If you click on this tab, it's a very sneaky little tab up here called audio. There's some stuff a-coming. Some stuff a-coming. So you can see here you've got a Jivo 12, 1, and 2. So that's, I, I don't know anything about it either. I just, I know they're working on it. You know, and I'm, I'm geeked. I can't wait to see what happens. Uh, 17G3C. You know, I know the Jeevos get a lot of love, all that, but I still like me some EMD, the, the big womp, womp, thump, thump from the uh, 710. Uh, so that's coming as well. 7 fdl 16 16645. Horns, bells, all that good stuff. And they do some really nice horns and bells as well. I, I was able to grab some from the, uh, the last site. Um, but they're just going to have to, you know, put them up in the new site. They're still getting things going, as far as I can tell, uh, but there's already a lot on here. Uh, we've got a miscellaneous tab up here as well. So this fixes things like your uh, your number font for the Dash 9. I think I've got some of those kind of bass backwards currently, so if you see some weirdness in my game, that's, that's totally my fault. Uh, UP number font as well, as well as the headlight flare pack, which look a lot better than the uh, default ones as well. But another cool thing they have added is the installation guide. So if you're not very familiar with Run 8 and its intricacies, as I am not either, uh, you can click the installation guide and it tells you all you need to know about how to swap this stuff out. So the way that Run 8 works, it's not like Train Sim Classic where you can just, uh, you know, put in a, a million different, you know, skins or repaints. It's, it's one model and there's one skin for that particular model. You know, but once you... Once you do it once or twice, like, you know, putting on a pair of shoes, riding a bike, whatever, you get totally used to it fairly quick, and it's fairly easy to do. So you've got this nice handy guide right here, which goes over all that, tells you to always back up uh, your default stuff, of course, and uh, they've got some contact information if you've got any questions. I would advise 100% first looking completely through the site before uh, shooting off, um, you know, any questions. It probably could be 
answered via the installation guide or the FAQ. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at some of the new stuff that they, the collective at DCS, have uh, posted for you to enjoy. Alrighty, so again, I just kind of chose a couple of random things, and the stuff that we're going to take a look at, just kind of breeze over real quick, the stuff that I didn't have, and so I wanted to check it out, uh, so here we are, it's, it's new stuff to me as well. One of them is the, uh, the UP coil car pack, which looked very nice, it of course is one uh, coil car pack, because like I said, it's, it's one paint, um, you know, per uh model if you will so it's going to be largely the same but it's nice to throw one of these in a consist and have it mixed up a little bit it's definitely modern it's got some tagging or urban art or whatever the hell you want to call on there you can see some og c and w stenciling on there cheap and nothing wasted of course uh it's got the correct up lettering it's got the old faded logo up there the shield which looks very nice and you can see the uh the paint kind of just you know wiping off there Thank you, Otto, for that. Um, you know, you got your artwork. It's just, it's weathered very nicely as well. You can look uh, down around the steps, the handrails, a lot of corrosion going on and all that good stuff. Uh, but with this pack, this coil car pack, which is a, I believe this is one of the DLCs. This isn't the uh, default uh, stock. So I think this is one of the packs. You also get the open variant as well because they... Uh, you know, they carry rolled steel, so that's what's in there is rolled steel. But this one as well has got, you know, all the weathering and all that good stuff. You can see along the lip or the rim where the uh, the clamshell or whatnot would usually go right on top of there. So it's uh, it's weathered very nicely. It's got some nice stenciling. The letters, font, and all that good stuff looks correct. You got the tear weight and all that. It's just, uh, it's a nice looking stuff. It's, you know, it, it adds a bit of freshness to the rolling stock. There's some nice rolling stock. You know already there's a lot out there quite a bit uh, but but when you see something more modernized you know it's just it makes it all the more believable I guess so it's nice seeing stuff like this this thing looks really good alrighty next up these of course I've seen quite a few of these in my uh, my stomping ground down around here uh, I believe these are the hunter tonners uh, three bay they carry coal and rock you generally see a lot of aggregate in these, or, or I have, um, over the years down around here. Uh, but they can't carry coal, 100 tonners. They're old. A lot of them have been refurbished from other roads. Uh, but this is another really good-looking product. And what's perfect about this is you can use this on the Fitzgerald sub, which I'm currently sat. These will go perfectly with the uh, Fitzgerald sub up around, uh, you know, Woodland through Talbotton, uh, Brown Sand Malt. Uh, and all the big uh, mining, open face mining companies up there, uh, you could use the bananas out of these things up there, and they look very, very nice as well. They, of course, have some very nice lettering, stenciling, all that good stuff. Very sharp as well. You got to keep in mind this is this is run eight. You know, I'm I'm personally not totally used to seeing very crisp, you know, and clean uh, lettering and font and all that good stuff in run eight. But these are very, very sexy as well. Uh, they look good. They're black. They look, you know, plenty worn in there, though. It's not just one flat color. You can see all kinds of, you know, specking in between the uh, the ribs there. You can see the uh, Freight Car America logo on there, which is very cool. They do have those. You've got your weights on there. All that good stuff. Nice, nice looking cars. And we'll get up in the air here. So I've got an empty one here. You can see down inside the uh, three bay there. That is the empty variant. This is the coal variant. And then down here we should have the rock. So there's your rock as well. A lot of this stuff moves through Florida. Rock, um, you know, aggregate, etc. But uh, those look really good as well. Down here, of course, we've got the Hogue, the heart of Georgia. Again, this is something you can very, very much use on the Fitzgerald sub uh, by High Rail Simulations, which was released... Uh, uh, about two months ago now very very nice map uh, especially because it's in the southeast so it's nice seeing the southeast represented Georgia through Florida uh, yeah 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 but anyway uh, these you would use predominantly down around uh, Cordell um, 
there's the interchange right there. So that's Norfolk Southern running north and south. Uh, it's the Fitz running east and west. And then the hog runs east and west as well for the most part. Uh, but that's, we'll just, we'll go down here real quick just to show you where you could use these sons of guns. So this is it. This is the, uh, the triple track. Actually, it's one, two, three, four, quadruple track. Um, or quad diamond. I don't even know what the hell I'm trying to say. This is Cordial, though. Big railroad and area. A lot of stuff comes through here. Uh, and this is the hog line right here. So that's where you could use those locomotives running up through here. There's not a whole lot of trackage between here, but it's pretty damn cool because you can just, you know, sit a, sit a consist down here, do some, oh, it just started raining. Awesome. I wish it would rain here. It's been a drought here where I live lately. Um, but there's a little bit of trackage you can run down here. And they also run the Sam Short Line, which is used by the Heart of Georgia locomotives, which is pretty neat. A uh, little, you know, heritage railway for uh, for funsies and all that good stuff. But you'll definitely see them in and around here interchanging with CSX. All right, so we're back in Fitz. That is kind of the, well, that's the yard that we're sitting in here, or uh, the pea patch, as it's known as as well. So this is the heart of Georgia, obviously owned by Genesee in Wyoming, which is abundantly clear with the smack your eyeballs in the face coloring of the orange and yellow that they have. Um, the heart of Georgia, they got some GP9s, they got some GP38s, GP40s, dash two uh, variants of both 38s and 40s. I know they got, I think they got one or two 40s and a couple of GP38s as well. So these essentially could be used as a GP38s. Uh, I don't know that the numbering is quite right on these, but it's run eight, so stuff like that is never going to be 100% uh, for the most part. But as far as this thing looks, this son of a bitch looks good. Uh, I remember when this was kind of released uh, right after the Fitzgerald sub came out, and I immediately grabbed it and uh, stuck it up there in Cordial. Uh, but it looks good. The paint, <laughs> I mean, the paint looks good. It is Genesee and Wyoming colors, so it's hard to say that those colors look good, but the paint itself looks very good uh, it's done very nicely it's got the black grab irons where there should be black uh, it's got the nice hog logo up there which looks very good as well it's got the uh, the hog or the razorback on there. there's a shitload of wild pigs down here in the southeast uh, and the uh, the symbol on the side as well which looks very clear got the zero injuries which also oddly looks like the zero emissions uh, then we got the operation lifesaver down here as well it's just a very, very crispy uh, repaint, and this paint uses the, uh, what is it, San, San Juan Valley GP40, I think, so it's, it's one that you don't, you don't have to buy a loco pack for, but you need the, gosh, I think it might even been a free loco, I, I can't remember, uh, I would advise you to go to the Run 8 website and look at that, because it's not, it's not one that you have to buy. It might either come with a root or it was free. I know they did like a free thing where they released this. It's kind of a freebie. I think that was it. But it's got all your little stickers. Uh, the danger high voltage, your three-point contact dealies. Um, you know, the undercarriage looks appropriate. It's just a good-looking locomotive. This It just looks very, very realistic. I'm not saying Genesee and Wyoming is good-looking, but uh, it fits. The thing looks pretty darn good. And of course, right next to the hogger over there, we've got the uh, the BNSF SD40-2 with the uh, the Skitty or H4, uh, and this is the remote control unit uh, or H3. Um, so I think this is from SD40-2 Pack Two. I I can't remember. There's like four or five SD40 packs it's insane and there's like four or five per pack there's there's a literal s ton of them but it's neat because it's the remote control unit so these things are obviously popping up everywhere and they have been in the last almost 10 years now probably um they work various places obviously larger yards uh, what's neat about this is obviously you could use them in a lot of situations a lot of yards uh with various maps within run eight um you know, in some of the bigger yards and uh, bigger industries, of course. But this thing is pretty on point as well. Uh, it's got the actual remote control equipment logo on there with the equipped sticker as well. It's got it on the side as well. 
which looks very fresh. It's been spruced up a bit too, so it's not just the default uh, skid. It looks good though. The only thing is it's, um, let's see. Well, no, it's got some radio equipment up there. I don't remember that being there. Maybe I just never really played with that uh, that unit. Thanks, Otto, again, for the noises. Um, but yeah, it's got your beacon on there, which uh, generally is on when it's being used via remote control. Uh, you know, crew can still get on and, and run the thing as usual. But uh, these things, you know, pop up everywhere. Uh, the BNSF is used um, predominantly, I think, Midwest. I know they're around Chicago a lot. Uh, but yeah, that's the, uh, the remote control units. Alrighty, next up, which is also new as well, uh, the Maple Syrup Lovin' Canadian National uh, Late ES-44, or as Canadian National calls them, EF-644N. Uh, again, the paint, the textures on this thing look very, very nice, fresh, very crispy. The CN alone is very, very sharp on there. That looks good got the website down there as well cn.ca uh, it looks pretty darn good the coloring looks very nice I think I've got the correct uh, truck coloring on there do I if I don't let me know guys I think I do because some of these you can uh, you can swap out the trucks to where they use uh, different types of trucks or whether they're black or gray uh, faded and all that good stuff but it's a good looking unit the CN um, it's got the yellow stripe or the uh, the safety reflective tape down along the bottom as well white grab irons uh it's got the uh the little medical icon on there but i th i thought that was like up and down i thought that was like a vertical icon i may be totally friggin wrong again that's very common that i am uh but it's on there nonetheless so that's very cool as well so that is the new uh cn es44 ac i think it is this ac right es44 ac All right, last and most certainly not least. So this locomotive, to use this pack, you're going to need the one of the Dash 9 packs that came out. Jeez, uh, I want to say it's Dash 9 pack 3? Because I think, I think the first two packs were Western Railroads. Uh, yeah, so it's got to be number 3. Anyway, that's a Dash 9, obviously pretty much the same thing as a dash eight uh for all intents and purposes this of course is a cw40 dash eight in yn2 or the uh, hockey stick one of my favorite uh csx liveries before they went to just the boring ass blue with a hey let's throw a box car around the letters you know that whole thing this i feel like this is the last good thing that, that came out of csx as far as the paint especially with that that friggin heritage unit that just came out we won't even get into that um, but this thing, you can download and install new cab details, which is pretty cool. And there's three weathering variants of this sub-bitch you can get. There's clean or new, and they've got the years, so you know where to, you know, you know you, where you want to shoot uh, year-wise, chronologically, if you will. Uh, then you've got like a, a middle area weathering, and then this here is the heavy weathering. So like some of the last ones you'd see around here. Uh, would most definitely look like this just beat to crap uh, so you've got all kinds of different weathering uh, variables and not only that as far as the body but the trucks as well so you've got a couple of options on the trucks you can do weathered trucks or weathered corrosive trucks with oil uh, in in like solvent and gas stainings and stuff like that as well you can see the leaks down the uh, the tank there this thing just looks very very good uh, this this person that's been making these paints has been making a lot of really good repaints as well and have kind of you know I don't know if join the collective of DCS uh, but a lot of his stuff is is appearing on the DCS website which is some very very nice stuff as well especially because it's southeast and it's not just you know all West Coast stuff and these look very good uh, not only is there this thing there's actually two uh, dash 8 paints you know and when you think about the variables you can do there's essentially six and then you've got the uh the jivos the es44s 
Uh, there's several of those, and they all look really good. I've got another one. I'll just I'll pop it down real quick here. I forgot about it. I'll just uh, I'll throw it up here real quick. Uh, let's see, because uh, this one here is on the website as well. Uh, da, 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 da. What am I looking for? Nope. I think it's a new one. Yeah, this thing is crispy as hell. If I'm not mistaken, this is from the same guy that made this thing over here. Uh, and this thing is fresh. This is just a very clean, uh, nice-looking locomotive. I don't... Maybe... Is it... Is it from him? Maybe... Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's from... Dex. The main dude at DCS. I can't remember anymore. I don't keep up with Run 8 uh, as much as I'd like. I'm just saying there's a lot of nice CSX options uh, on the website now. So this is the new one. It's got the website on the side. The coloring looks nice. And, of course, it's got the uh, the black nose up top, which look good as well. So that's just that's just a little little quickie extra. I don't I did he, I don't I don't think it's the same guy. I feel like a massive dingus now. It might not be the same guy. Yeah, I think uh I think the original uh DCS peeps made that one. I cannot remember. Feel like a total idiot. All right, let's get in this one. We'll just look at it here in just a moment. Look at all the weathering all over it on the brow, the nose just rusty as hell you need a tetanus shot just looking at this thing it's got decals where applicable and some of them are very legible to be so small i mean you can just about read every little bit of that which is uh you know which is pretty neat it's got that rail dust kind of grime all along the bottom which looks very very nice of course and realistic and then the trucks these funky ass trucks these things had are weathered nicely as well as the fuel tank and stickers everywhere the top is weathered as well you've just got this soot running all down the middle and down here by the exhaust that's nice i like seeing stuff like that that's pretty and let's hop in it here so this is inside the uh the csx dash eight let's actually a dash nine in the game but it's, it's dash eight who cares uh so if, who's this guy it always freaks me out when i hop in one and see somebody over there i feel like i'm in a server and i'm not i'm just single player right now so a lot of little intricacies and details were added to this locomotive i'm not going to go over each and every one i don't even i don't even know uh each and everything that was added to this uh but there were a lot there's you know little little things crews getting bored you know writing shit on the uh the dash you got bits of weathering i think some of the textures were spiced up a little bit overall you've got a trains magazine sitting there work order all kinds of stuff just just neat little things just to make it uh, i'd like to see something like this for just about every damn engine in the game that would spice up the interior a bit because if there's one thing that could be you know very helpful to run eight is its uh interior for whatever reason the dash nine interiors you know it was neat that they added ptc and they've got the old school uh controls and all that but i, I feel like it was kind of a step back when when they added the dash nine and the way the interiors look versus like the jivos um they just i don't know they just don't seem as uh as crispy so anyway that's gonna just about do her guys uh so yeah just once again just in case anybody didn't know the dcs website for run eight enhancements is back up back chugging along a lot of nice stuff i gotta get busy downloading a lot of stuff uh i think if one of one two three four five six things out of like they got at least like 30 things up there now and and they they usually pump some stuff out fairly quick so i can't wait to see uh what comes out next i will link it down below of course thank you once again auto i always love that noise interrupting me uh i'll link down below where you can go and find it uh if you don't know how to install this stuff like i said they've got a nice faq and a, a rundown of how to install all that kind of stuff but the one biggest one most is bestest thing i can say is back your shit up back your files up uh and you know unless you want to reinstall the whole game anew in case you decide you don't like something you back it up it's just so much easier than having to deal with a uh, a thermonuclear run eight meltdown but that's it guys thanks for watching the new dcs site is back up go check their stuff out some very very good stuff thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time bye